Hey, what's going on? Hope you're doing all right. My name's Matt, this is Dwyer Creatives, and as you see here, I finally got my 3D printer in. So we're gonna be putting it together. Now I am brand new into this, so let's just go dive straight into this. As I mentioned in some previous videos, I do have some projects that I wanna do some camera related, some EDC related. That's some of my plans I have for 2025. Now, the first thing I need to do is go ahead and get this set up. So let me go ahead and open this sucker up. Super solid knife. I love this OTF Microtech. It's a bounty hunter. If you can find one, definitely worth doing it. Thanks uh, to one of my buddies who sold me it. We got some tape here, some tape here. going to move this over here. Put this back. One thing I do want to say that I did the A1 Mini with the ASM Lite, I believe it's called. So that's so you can use four colors at the same time. I do want to do multicolor prints, so I figured uh, you might as well do both, right? As I'm opening it, I did mention that I have a few projects. One of my first projects I want to do is there's a medium format camera. I I think I've mentioned this before. It is made by Dora Goodman. The group for it's no longer active. The website is still there and I've been trying to find those files for it. If any of you know where I can get a current file, let me know. I did join the uh, Facebook group in a 3D printing group for cameras specifically and there's been some pretty good information there so I'm super pumped about that. So here it is, bigger but smaller than I thought it would be, if you know what I mean. Now obviously I'm not going to leave this here in my living room. I am looking tomorrow, I gotta go out and buy a table. This is going to go into a closet so that I can work on prints, not keep everyone up at night, and have this running 24-7 if I need to, which is not the plan for this, but if I wanted to I could. Just try to be gentle, make sure that I remove everything carefully so I don't break anything. Dryer packs there. Pull this up. Go ahead and pull this up. And something just fell out. Nope. Okay, so the little cover on the foot right here just fell off. Little adhesive. Slide that back on there. Move that to the side. Check these pieces to make sure I'm not missing anything. You have the actual printer here. So we have instructions, cable or something. I'm just going to lift this up here and pull it out of that styrofoam. We have the power cable. We have a few more pieces here. I'm just going to put all of this to the side. So we have this styrofoam here. How does this come off? I don't want to force anything. A little tight. Do not grab or press on the X axis. Do that. We have some styrofoam uh, zip tie right there. Now the kit I did get was this one. In this they do include little kits for you to do as like a first project. I really like that they do include that. Let's see what's in the box. Now is there an easy way to open this? Okay I'm just gonna push that through then. Push this through. I do like how this is like all really well enclosed together. We have another little box. Right here we have the spools. One, two, and these are color coded. If you know, they are color coded. Green, yellow, and that just makes it easier when you're putting them on. If on the AMS, you have green, green, yellow, and yellow, so you can't really mess it up. They try to make it as simple as possible. I really do appreciate that. We have filament swatches. All right, so I definitely gotta go through the instructions here to make sure that I don't screw anything up. That's the last thing I wanna do. So they give you a little bit of the line, which I actually got a box down there to the side. And then we have the tubing. We have 580 millimeters of tubing and then 700. So there's too long, too short, sample filament, and then your build plate. The build plate's currently on there. It's magnetically on there. Lubricants, one tool. We have a spring. We have another tool. Now I have everything laid out. I did open that little packet. We had some extra grease lubricant and all the screws nicely laid out. So we're gonna go step by step to put this together, getting everything laid out and making sure that you have all your parts 
The next part is going to be to cut the zip tie, which I already did. It says we're going to remove this part right here. So this is going to be our first step to do that. Now to do that, it has four screws. We got to figure out which one to use for this to break it apart. It's going to be this longer one. So you're going to want the longer one and simply you're going to loosen and take off these four screws. That's why this is a little bit longer so you can get into these tighter angles. Now, when you're listening to these, I am going counterclockwise through number four. That piece is just going to slide out. And then we're going to go see what our next step is here. All right, so I screwed up. I tightened the three bolts there. That's not what I was saying. It's supposed to be underneath. Carefully do that here. Let's just tighten those down. This would have been a lot easier just to do this from the start. We're gonna add the purger. So this right here is the purger and that is gonna connect to the bottom of this. It says we need one M3 by 12. Pull that out. We're just gonna go ahead and carefully turn this so I can actually see it, what I'm doing. So this is gonna slide on there. Uh, the angle of this is not a nice one. Tighten that down. You're gonna take this little piece and then a spool holder to M3 by eight. So we're gonna go over here on the back side, pop these two little screws out of here. Right here, what you're gonna do is put this on like this. So you have that larger side facing that with the two holes closer to that side. And I'm simply gonna get these threaded so that they're in there. And then after I get both of them on there, I'm gonna tighten both of them down just so that I know I can get both of them aligned. And maybe I should actually watch what I'm doing. Okay, so we have the first one here, get it partially threaded, and then we're just gonna crank it down. And these do look like there is blue Loctite on them. So that is a very nice that you don't need to add your own to this. Now, technically, since I have the ASM light, I don't think I need to do this but I just wanna set this up exactly the way that they show it in case there's anything that I'm missing. So that is on there. And then we're gonna take this spool. Next up, they want you to go ahead and assemble the ASM light. You are gonna be using the four BT3-8 screws. Go ahead and slide that back a little bit so that I can move this piece up. So we have that, this, and the screws. That way they want the cable to be in the direction facing it. So on the higher side, and simply this should just go ahead and set down. So I'm gonna leave that fifth screw in here because I'm pretty sure it said there's only four. One, two, three, four, yeah. You have one BT3-8 left over. I'm gonna leave that in the bag for now. I just wanna go ahead and get all four of these threaded in here and then we'll tighten them down you know when you're threaded all the way, it just like almost stops and they look a lot more flush. Start at number one and then go to number two. So the next step is to connect the two of them. So this is 50 millimeters apart facing like this. So you have it set up like this. You have two ones here, you have two shorter, two longer. And what these do, I guess, is just protect it as it's feeding so you don't get any contamination and feeds nicely. And then you also want this piece, which is gonna keep everything organized. Now I'm gonna start with the two shorter ones. We're gonna go kinda just, okay, so that kinda just like sits in there. And I'm assuming you're just gonna go to those four corners. So we have the shorter ones here. I'm gonna feed it under this black piece right there. And we have that bottom long line four o'clock position, longer one to like the two o'clock position. And you're gonna use this piece right here. What we're gonna do is kind of connect all of these together. So it shows put the black one at the bottom. I'm just gonna put that into that first position. If it fits, it fits, right? And then it says to turn it on. Now, as I said, this will be going to a different spot. I just wanna get everything set up, up and running. All right, so I skipped a step. You gotta put the spools on. These are color coded, so. Start English. We are in North America. Select Wi-Fi. Next step here is to go ahead and log in. So it's gonna take you to the app. You're gonna do this. I should already be logged in. We're gonna go ahead and bind it. 
So I need my device. We're just gonna go through the calibration. While that's running an update, I went ahead and grabbed this. I screwed the calibration up and it is running an update right now. And that was my fault. I should have put the plate back on. You know, this is all too new to me. So I'm sure I'm gonna make a ton of mistakes. I just gotta go back through and do the calibration all over again. If you're like me and I noticed that I have a blade here for a scraper and some screws, I started panicking, couldn't figure out what it was. Then I remember you can build a scraper and that's exactly what it's for. So those are gonna be one of the first things that we build. Now, yesterday I went ahead and ordered some filament, some black, some white, just to get started to get a few things printed. I'll link it down below if you're interested in picking some of this up. I was just trying to get some stuff to get going. I know that it didn't send you a whole lot and it did send you 20 grams of the basic one. Once that update's done, I'm gonna go ahead and recalibrate this and we're gonna go ahead and print a Benchy. While that's running calibration, it's gonna take a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and attach these to the spool or I might wait for the calibration then attach it. When you do attach these, you want the line to go up. So if you're all on this side, everything goes up. Same thing for this side. You want it to go up into it. Just note that. And yeah, I'll get back to you once I get this first calibration done. And there you go. This is me getting it set up and running through my first benchy and everything. I do have a few projects, as I mentioned in the beginning that I want to do. There's a camera, there's a few different cameras I'd like to build. I also want to go through the development process and get back into that. I used to do that a while ago, but I really want to go through like hands-on, if you know what I mean. So if you want to follow me on this journey of learning how to 3D print, combining that with my love for cameras and seeing where we go from there, make sure that you give me a follow. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. If you are an expert on 3D printing, let me know who I should follow. As I said, I'm a beginner and I definitely want to keep learning as much as I can. YouTube is a great platform for that as I try to help others and hopefully others can help me. I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. As always, thanks for watching and let's just go ahead and print my first benching.